Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in today's video I will be going over the new 4K Ultra HD announcements and pre-orders for July 5th, 2024. Now keep in mind release dates and technical specs are subject to change. If there are any changes or additional retailer exclusives, I will update them in a future video. Also be sure to check out my previous 4K pre-order videos for titles you may be looking for and were not covered here. Direct Amazon links to the titles listed in this video when they are live can be found on the channel's community page. Vinegar Syndrome announced a couple of titles scheduled for release by the end of July. First up, the 4K edition of the film Reptilicus is coming from Vinegar Syndrome. It will support HDR and DTS audio. In addition, Last Embrace is also coming to 4K, also scheduled for release by the end of the month. Now currently up for pre-order, a 4K edition of the film hack o lantern is scheduled to start shipping by the end of July. Well, it looks like some of the titles as part of the Sony Classics collection from a few years ago are starting to get individual releases, and Run Lola Run is among those coming out on July 30th. The tech specs include HDR, Dolby Vision, and DTS Audio. I firmly believe we'll start seeing more of those titles come out in the near future. As I talked about in last week's video, we now have official cover art for both the standard release and Walmart exclusive steelbook of part one of Horizon, an American Saga. Once again, we don't have a confirmed release date, but from what I'm seeing, it may actually come out on August 16th. And this is just a reminder, pre-orders have now started to go live for the 4K of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the standard release and steelbook. And we also have confirmation that the steelbook is not exclusive to any particular retailer. Shout Factory announced their 4K release scheduled for the month of September this past week. Starting with September 3rd, The Boy is coming to 4K, and it will support HDR, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos audio. There will also be a 4K of the reboot of the Amityville Horror, also on September 3rd. Moving over to September 10th, The Stepfather is coming out from Shout Factory, and The Strangers on 4K, starring Liv Tyler, will also be released the same day. Kino Lorber has also been busy this week with some upcoming 4K releases for September. The Antichrist is coming on September 10th, as well as the film Link, starring Elizabeth Shue. And from Kino's cult classic label, Zoltan, House of Dracula is scheduled for a 4K release, also on September 10th. And just a special note for the three I just mentioned, these will not, unfortunately, support any form of HDR grading. And back to Shout Factory for a moment, on September 17th, the film Doomsday is coming to 4K. This will support HDR and Dolby Vision. And the upcoming Kino Lorber release of Cowboys and Aliens is scheduled to arrive on September 17th. It is listed currently on their website. We don't have official artwork, but I expect that to be updated very soon. And the last Shout Factory announcement for September, on the 24th, John Carpenter's Village of the Damned is coming to the 4K format. Blue Underground will be releasing The Million Eyes of Sumeru on September 24th. HDR is expected, as well as DTS audio. And a quick release date update for the Lady Killers on 4K from Kino Lorber. It is now scheduled to come out on the 24th of September. And according to Kino Lorber's website, the original murder on the Orient Express is also scheduled for the 24th of September. And this was a bit of a surprise, as it looks like Sony is getting ready to announce the fifth volume of the Columbia Classics Collection sometime from what I'm hearing in September. The five movies included will be All the King's Men from 1949, On the Waterfront, A Man for All Seasons, Tootsie, The Age of Innocence from director Martin Scorsese, and 2019's Little Women. As I said, I was a little surprised by this announcement considering Volume 4 just came out earlier this year, but another collection is always going to be welcome. Pre-orders have not yet started to go live, and we don't have an official release date, but as I mentioned, it looks like it may be coming sometime in September. Stay tuned to the channel for that updated information. You can certainly file this next one under rumor, but from what I've seen online, Kevin Smith may have purchased the Dogma rights from the Weinstein Company, so it could be possible we may see a new physical media release and even a 4K. If this does indeed turn out to be true, and this is the case, I know a lot of fans will be happy to finally get, hopefully, a 4K of Dogma. Severin just recently announced that an upcoming 4K release of 2020 Texas Gladiators is scheduled to arrive sometime in the near future. While we don't have an official release date, Kino Lorber is prepping a 4K release of Stephen King's Graveyard Shift. It's time to go over this week's international announcements and pre-orders, and as a reminder, most 4K discs are region-free. 
it looks like the upcoming UK release of American Pie on the 4K format is now scheduled for arrival on September 9th. Now, as far as a domestic U.S. release goes, this is the 25th anniversary of the film. I would be very, very surprised if Universal did not make an announcement before the end of the year. In Germany on September 19th, Mississippi Burning, starring Gene Hackman, is scheduled to arrive on 4K. It will support HDR and Dolby Vision and DTS Audio. Also, the German release of The Downfall on 4K is coming to that market September 26th. A new Steelbook edition of Batman The Killing Joke is coming to the United Kingdom. The release day for that will be September 30th. And this coming week, pre-orders are going to start to go live for Second Sight's upcoming release of The Hitcher. Stay tuned to next week's video for an official release date and cover art. So those are this week's 4K pre-orders and announcements for July 5th, 2024. Don't forget to use the Amazon affiliate link in the comments section or on the channel's community page if you're interested in any of the titles I talked about in this video. Also, I want to hear from you. What titles did I mention this week are you planning to pick up for yourself? And finally, a special thank you to my Patreons for your continued support. It is very much appreciated. If you would like to support me through Patreon, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.